Friday, and Friday means payday. Oh, let's talk about how you get paid in hotshot trucking. Specifically as a leased on, specifically as a leased on owner operator. Everybody's dumping their air brakes right now. All right, let's jump in. So, what is the benefit of leasing on versus getting your own authority? Benefit number one, and this is the, like, oh, I should probably do it like this. This is the, like, the important part you gotta understand. All your pay comes from one company when you're leased on. Because if you get your own authority, you're gonna get all your pay either from the factoring company or you're gonna get it from a bunch of different brokers. Every single broker that you work with, they will give you a 1099. So just think about the amount of 1099s you're gonna get from those brokers because they paid you for those loads. So it's important that you understand that when you're leased on, one of the major benefits, and the cons, I guess you could say at the same time, is that you can only get paid, can only get paid from one company, because you can only lease on to one company. You can only get paid from one company, but that's also a plus, because that means you only get one 1099 at the end of the year. And so right now, today is Friday, it's payday. So that means Toe Piglet, leased on, owner operator, is getting paid today. Oh, my thing just clicked. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, so now you want to be smart and you want to split up the business and your personal. And so what I also do is I then pay myself a thousand dollars a week salary. So that is correct. I am now an S corp, I believe. Whatever. <laughs> like I, ha I'm an employee of Toe Piglet, so I get paid a W two salary. Okay, and this this is two thousand. 19 this is new usually it was a c corp so it was all my income was passed through income so just keep in mind this is the natural progression of a business that you start you know you start as a 1099 c corp and then you go on and you become w2 employee and so on and so forth but keep in mind those two things that when you're leased on you get one just one 1099 from the company that you leased on with and when you're an owner operator with your own authority if you do all if you factor all of your loads then you'll get one from the vacuum company but if you factor most of your loads and maybe you don't do one or two of the other ones you'll get a 1099 from each of the brokers but i strongly recommend as an owner operator you pay you the driver a normal driver's salary just like i so Quick side note, you guys. Oh, a toe piglet, where's your magnets? Where's your magnets, uh huh? Guys, relax, okay? See this? That's a car magnet. You see that? That's the car magnet for the other side. Literally, where you see this? I'm recording a video, right? Every time I record a video, I take off my magnets. Every time. All right, so that's just a side note. That's gonna do it for this video. I'm gonna go inside and get some coffee because it is cold. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.